Let's put John Reams relegated Lincoln in control against Rotherham. Midfielder Terry Fleming started the scoring from the penalty spot after that clearest of clear hand balls in the Rotherham wall. Lee Philpott ended this little game of head tennis with Lincoln's second goal. A splendid late strike from Paul Warren couldn't stop Rotherham from losing at Sinsel Bank. Lincoln City 2, Rotherham United 1. At Boothbury Park, Mark Greaves using his knee to good effect at the far post. It was a case of villain turned hero for Greaves, who was sent off at Exeter last week. Polo had to settle for a point as former Tiger Gavin Gordon levelled midway through the second half for the visitors. Gordon in acres of space did need two attempts to find the net. Hull won, Lincoln won. After their fourth home defeat, Gavin Gordon flashed past Martin Lancaster and keeper Wayne Brown for Lincoln's first. Chester drew level just a minute later. Michael Blackwood on loan from Aston Villa, curling in a 20-yarder past Barry Richardson. Two second-half goals sealed Lincoln's first win in 10 League and Cup games. Richard Peacock's cross, Dave Barnett's knockback, and the acrobatics from Lee Thorpe with his third of the season. Victory was sealed four minutes from the end. Phil Stant will be 37 in two weeks' time. Lincoln are his lucky 13th league club. He celebrated like a man half his age. Chester one, Lincoln three. Back-to-back -back wins for Lincoln after nine without a victory. The only goal coming on 58 minutes from Richard Peacock. But for Exeter in blue, it could have been worse. Lee Thorpe's skill and shot coming back off the post. The Grecians could have earned a point from the spot with just 10 minutes to go. Kofi Niyama tripped inside the Lincoln box by Peter Gain. The game brought to the boil with coffee grounded in an instant. But Imps keeper Barry Richardson's no mug and his late save from Gary Alexander was vital. Lincoln won, Exeter nil.